All right, uh, this video is just going to be kind of a, a short addendum uh, to the one above, uh, just to update on what's happened over the last year, uh, last six months or year. So I, in the, before I talked about what basically what had happened during the pandemic regarding labor force participation, participation uh, and unemployment rates. And now I just want to add a little bit to that. OK, so one, one thing we see at the beginning, uh, which was mentioned in the previous video, um, in, in the beginning, labor force participation rate uh, during the, during the pandemic fell significantly uh, for both men and women. Uh, it fell a little bit more for women, but it fell significantly for both groups. Um, and then uh, starting in, in, in uh, after the initial uh, lockdowns, it, it started to recover. All right, so it started to recover. It fell suddenly during the lockdowns uh, that, that and during that initial period of COVID, and then it started to recover after that. There was some some uh, you know not a very steady pattern of recovery, but there was some degree of recovery. Uh, but still, it has not recovered to, to anything near the. It's still a couple percentage points down uh, from where it was in normal times. So we still got about, you know, we're, we're talking, uh, let me get to the end, 56.2 compared to where it was before, 57.8. So yeah, about a, about a, about a percent and a half, let's say, uh, for men and for women. For men, it's 67.7 and it's down from 69. Oh yeah, so it's about, a, yeah, about a point and a half, uh, roughly. Now, a percentage and a half of the entire U.S. labor force is a lot of people. Um, so that is part of the reason for the difficulty in hiring um, It's is that some people have not come back into the labor force. Um, some people just there was people who decided to retire early. Uh, there, there was older people who decided they didn't want to do jobs that or people with health issues didn't want to do jobs that exposed them uh, to COVID. Uh, there's been people with child care issues uh, or, or reluctance to put their kids back in school and people that made lifestyle changes during the time that they were uh, at home maybe decided not to go back in the workforce so it's 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 a uh, it seems like a small number but when you think about this happening quite suddenly it's a it's a pretty big adjustment for the labor force um and so it, it doesn't seem clear that the the this recovery of the labor force is like in terms of people returning to the labor force is getting really strong it was really strong initially uh but over time not a whole lot is happening there uh right now based on just looking at this data we can also look at this based on race Okay, so let's also make it big. Okay, so this is the same numbers for race. Remember, we saw uh, in in the before COVID, the labor force participation rates were were uh, re quite high. They had sort of reached a peak. The economy was uh, was was uh, in this. The labor market was quite almost headed towards being overheated in the sense that we had really low unemployment rates, kind of historically low. And sometimes that tends to so people are in the labor force kind of at, at, at the maximum that they were going to be at that time. Um, and then we see this sudden drop. Now we see this. This is all there. So the the, the top line is Hispanics, um, and then we have Asian, and then uh, then white and African American, going down from there. Um, we can see beforehand that the Hispanic group had a much higher labor force participation than any other group. Uh, Asian was the second highest, um, and and the white and African American labor force participation were actually pretty similar. Uh, one of the things about that. Um, there's sort of a gender dynamic kind of hidden in in some of this. Uh, I didn't I didn't go to the trouble of getting all the separated out groups just because this is very supplementary and it would get too long. Um, but uh, hidden within that, for example, in the um, if if we're comparing the African American and the white labor force participation, uh, it'll be sort of in the uh, amongst women, the labor force participation for African American women is quite a bit higher, uh, but amongst men, it's high, a little bit higher for it's a, somewhat higher for white men. Um, but when we, when we average them together by not considering uh, that, then then it sort of becomes equal. Um, okay, so we see. Uh, a, f a big fall in, in labor force participation for every group. Okay, so we saw this for every group. Um, it was bigger for uh, Hispanics and for African Americans. Uh, we can see very clearly it's it's bigger. I mean, you can think of just the eyeballing the white number. Uh, the white number had the smallest decrease uh, in labor force participation. Uh, just because eyeballing is started at the same place and then at the bottom it was significantly above the african-american group and had become roughly equal to the asian group uh, which had started out above it um, one thing to note the, the asian group the line bounces around a lot it's partially because of being a small group um, so when when during uh, in survey data there will be the the error in estimation will be tend to be bigger for a group that's quite small uh, as a percentage of the total population. 
um, just because the sample won't be as big. I am. Anyways, but we see it fell for every group. Uh, it likely fell more for the Hispanic and African American group because of uh, the, the concentration of industries, uh, more likely to be in, in industries that were face to face, um, like face to face services, etc. And also more likely to be in other types of uh, like uh, production facilities and others that were also shut down because of safety concerns. Um, so, uh, so as I mentioned in the previous video, that's part of the reason why the, the, the decline was bigger. And then going on from there, we start to see a recovery in labor force participation. It's very interesting. And actually, uh, when I looked at this data, it's the first time I've seen this. I have not heard a discussion about this uh, in research, because so I don't know for sure. But one thing we see is um, some groups seem to have recovered much more than others. Uh, so interesting is the, the, the for the white group has basically recovered a little bit and then basically stayed flat. Um, for African-Americans, they recovered a lot. And so it, it's still not where it was at the start, uh, but it went down more and then it recovered more and it ended up back in the same place as the white group at the end. So that's kind of it's kind of interesting to see which groups were more affected and which groups uh, sort of bounced back more. Um, but we can still see every group is, uh, except for the Asian group, uh, every other group is still quite down from where uh, that group was. In, uh, and that can also uh, explain uh, some of the hiring difficulties uh, that we're seeing. So every group is down. And again, some of this, uh, we'd, we'd have to get deeper into it. Uh, I, I'm kind of speculating because it's too new for there to be a whole bunch of research about it. I mean, the data, the, the, the last part of the data just came out last month. Um, so, but it could be, uh, some of this could be, again, related to, uh, in some cases, early, as the, po the population is aging, labor force participation is expected to drop, uh, most especially in the white group, because this group is quite a bit older, uh, um, on average, the median age. Um, so some of this could be people deciding to retire uh, rather than, you know, continue in the, in the um, and some of this could also be uh, maybe families where one person decided to stay home uh, with children or had child care issues or, or other kinds of changes uh, that might be going on. So it's, but it, we see even with the really tight labor market that we find, uh, as we're going to see in a second, we still don't see, and not everyone has come back into the labor force. And that's a pretty interesting, uh, okay, finally going into unemployment. Um, we're going to, so looking at, uh, we said, uh, typically in recent recessions, we said uh, that, uh, men were more likely to lose their jobs than women. So the unemployment rate for men usually went higher than women in the peak of a recession. Uh, this recession was reversed and it hasn't been like this since, uh, I think back into the, so this was reversed from that. And I think it mostly has to do with the, with the industries that were shut down. Um, so it was much more likely uh, to be uh, service type jobs that were shut down um, and jobs that that uh, tended to have a bigger concentration. As we'll see later in the course, we're going to look at the occupational distribution. Uh, so I think the occupational distribution was a big reason. And then we see unemployment rate fell. Uh, it fell faster for women, um, but it fell for both groups pretty fast uh, as the, every as things started to open up and and you know the economy started moving again. And now we're we're down uh, to being quite five percent which is considered pretty low um, but it's interesting there there's still there's quite a bit of unemployment um, still compared and even though uh, there you would almost expect it to be lower given the number of job openings uh, but it seems like certain types of jobs are having a difficult time uh, filling and there's some debate about what's causing that um, we don't want to I don't want to get in that debate here uh, so yeah at the peak uh, women had a higher unemployment rate here but then now they've gone down and we're kind of back to the to the original situation although a little more gap between men and women than there was before uh, the pandemic and then the final one uh, looking at race Again, we saw uh, that the, during the peak of the pandemic, the um, at least the peak of the shutdowns, the unemployment rate for Hispanics went uh, went uh, highest of all groups, and this had I mean, not previously happened before. In all previous recessions, African Americans had the highest unemployment rate, but uh, but that was again mainly because of the uh, the nature of this recession was totally different than the previous ones. Uh, it, in in that it was totally. Different. Um, and the type of jobs that were shut down are the type of jobs that would tend to be the least affected in, in, in a lot of recessions. A lot of times like face-to-face -face services are the last ones to, to sort of be affected. Uh, we can see though, this was only temporary. Um, within a few months, 
the uh, Hispanic uh, unemployment rate had dropped fast. And so a lot of this was dropping as things started to open up and more, more things started getting back, uh, you know, back in business. And uh, all the groups, uh, unemployment rates drop, continued to drop, uh, but the, um, I didn't go back quite far enough. Let me go back a little further. All, all continued to drop uh, over time, but, um, but yeah, the, the Hispanic rate fell faster. Uh, just to compare, I, I, I had it in the wrong setting. I want you to be able to compare to uh, pre and post. So, so uh, even now the unemployment rates are still higher uh, for all groups. Um, but uh, as you notice, the, 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 the worst peak of it uh, hit Hispanics and, and African-Americans worse. Um, and also as we see the recovery, uh, there's still a gap. So there's, there's still a gap and, um, and, and the, the uh the final thing we see is that the rates kind of fall back into the old familiar pattern that we that we see when we look at the entire uh kind of labor history over the over the last uh, the, the data sets that we have that stretch over several decades is we typically see that uh african american having the highest unemployment rate hispanic unemployment being kind of uh in the middle and then the white and asian rates being the lowest ones and, and usually pretty similar um so but so we still see a a, a decent amount of unemployment um, but um, not nearly back to where it was before, um, before the pandemic, uh, but it has fallen significantly from where the peak was. Um, so anyways, uh, that's just a little update. I um, hope you uh, found it interesting and let me know if you have any questions or anything you want to discuss.